the headquarters, ground speak headquarters. We're back on five, traveling north because Kent is south of Seattle by about 20 miles or so. So we're traveling again. We can see the city from here, kind of. See the buildings over there? That's the city of Seattle. I couldn't see where you were going. And there's the skyline of Seattle. The Space Needle is over there. We'll probably go check that out. Be cool. It looks a lot smaller than you think. Check this. Well, at least it's on the same. Yeah, from here it's. It looks it's tiny from here. Big cranes over there. It's a seaport. Lots of construction going on, all kinds of things. There's welding. You can see those, those little pink dots down there. <laughs> it looks pink anyway. Anyway, okay. Let's find the headquarters. Head headquarters. Head headquarters. We're going through a tunnel. It's pretty cool. This building right here. See, you can see the frogs stuck to the windows. This is ground speak headquarters. Here? Yeah, you can turn into here, I think. But anyway, that's the headquarters right there. Um, actually, maybe. I'm just trying to find a place to park right now. I remember seeing a parking lot over this way. Um, but yeah, that's them. So, there's a parking lot right there. There's a, okay, there's a parking spot right there. So. I don't know if we can, but... Are you... Oh, there's visitor parking in there, right there. Okay. But are we visiting this place? We're visiting this place. Oh, well. Adobe. Adobe? I don't know, we can visit Adobe. Oh, Adobe is right here, too. That's cool, I guess. Well, I'll park somewhere in the back. Sure. It says Adobe visitor parking, but whatever. We're... We can visit Adobe as well. That'd be cool. Try and get some free photoshops. <laughs> we finally found a place to park because this U Park system, which is pretty much every parking lot here, has that. Don't know how to use it. Like, you have to uh, call ahead or prepay and get a plan and have them mail you a ticket to be able to park there. And all the places pretty much are that, so it's kind of annoying. Can't park in those. So we parked in a two hour parking area or whatever it's called, but it's east of here. So you east. can only park in New York Wait, or are like, we west you know, of east the of sign? Seattle. We're west of west of the sign, Jimmy. Well but uh um, oh. yeah. We made it to the ground speed headquarters, this is it. They have like wooden trees and desks. There's Jimmy taking pictures. All decorated and there's the giant cache container with tons of stuff in it. And this over here is pretty cool. This is a, uh, like when people find some, it goes to the most recent logged finds. So that's pretty cool. It shows you where it is and everything. I'm not quite loading the, the map though, but it shows you their log. Yep, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. What do you think of this number 1,000? It's cool. So it's getting pretty cold, uh, and it's getting dark. We found a few of the puzzles that I solved, but uh, you have to check out this view. Let me just show you real quick. Yeah. 
Yep. It probably looks a lot better in real life than on video. But anyway, that's what we are. That's where we are, not what we are, that's where we are. Gatorade. There's a space needle. Some town city. And then there's more of Seattle over there. Yeah, it's a cool view of the city from here. It's a cool blue lighted thing. And uh, there's now a building in the way. Oh, the Space Needle. It's nighttime and we are still in Seattle. We had some dinner. And it's dark so you can't see me, so I think the lights would be more interesting than me. Um, we are now trying to figure out how to get back to where we were staying. So, oh wait, there's the needle over there. Yep. That's the Space Needle. And then there's like Jimi Hendrix Music Hall or something. It's hard to tell, but that's like a regular shaped like phone pole, but it's, I don't know, maybe three, four feet in diameter. It's huge. There it is, a cool green and blue bridge. That's really cool. I like it. It's happy Asian face car. Giant rubber band. Camera will get launched. It's just a small test into a pillow. If I go like this. What? <laughs> Your fingers. That's didn't, what I told yeah, you. it didn't work. Didn't work. Okay, as you can see, maybe. It's uh, very cold because you can see my breath. And it's probably about 35. Or 34 degrees, and we went across to the AM PM to get snacks. And Jimmy got a uh, a Butterfinger ice cream bar. It's good. But if you think about it, winter or when it's freezing cold outside, it's probably the best time to have ice cream. Why? It won't melt. You can take as long as you want to eat it, and it won't melt. So anyway. Gotta go back inside now. One of the things that I got was a uh, pizza pocket, or a hot pocket pizza thing, whatever, because I'm hungry. And it's here. The only problem is we don't have any plates to cook it on. So I'm actually, I have it on a receipt to kind of protect the microwave from bubbling over cheese. And um, the microwave is being weird. I don't even know what that says. But another thing is it, it doesn't do anything. It can push every single button. What? Oh, there it goes. I fixed it, Jimmy. <laughs> oh. Well, never mind. I thought I pushed that button last time. I pushed stop clear, I think, and that seemed to work. But anyway. It wasn't as funny as it was going to be. I had this whole thing planned out where if it didn't work I was going to take it out and I was going to set it on top of the heater and then put it on full heat and go to high heat and cook it on the heater. But this worked so, oh well.